one, is since I know you guys probably don't want to be uh, memorizing so many different formulas, um, what I'm going to do is just simply set up the simply set up using my process to be able to find using ratios and proportions. Because remember, the main important thing, guys, if you forget the proportions for geometric mean to find the legs or the um, or the altitude or hypotenuse, that's okay. What I would recommend is just redrawing all the triangles in there. So there's remember when we create when we have a right triangle and I draw the altitude, which is that straight line that makes it 90 degree. I have now created two more triangles, this triangle and this triangle. And remember, all those three triangles are all similar to the big triangle. Okay, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to redraw all of them separately. I'm going to try to do my best to have them be the same. So that one is z. This whole length is what, 19? This length is y. Would everybody agree with me? That's the large triangle inside of there. Yeah. OK. So now let's just draw the other two. So it's a little bit smaller. That length has x, 15, and y. But remember, these are similar to each other, right? Mm -hmm. So would you, guys, would, you guys rec would you guys understand with me that x is to z and 15 is to y? Those are corresponding sides. If I took this triangle and flipped it so it's right side up, that those would be corresponding sides. Would you guys agree with me? OK. And then the last one looked like that, where that's 4, that's z, and that's x. All right. So now, can you guys see with this one that 4 is similar? If you were to now kind of turn this, like flip it around and turn it, you could say that 4 is the same as that short side, z is the same as y. And x is the same as 15. Would you guys agree with me? OK. So what we're going to do is they want us to solve for x. They want us to solve for x, y, and z. Now we can use the geometric mean um, to go ahead and do that. Um, or we could also go ahead and um, use the, we can also go ahead and um, use ratios to be able to solve the ratios and proportions. The best thing that I remember though. If you guys remember to find the altitude of a triangle, all you need to do is find the geometric mean of these two values. So I can say x equals the square root of 15 times 4. This one's pretty basic to remember. Whenever you have a triangle, this is one thing that we did in our notes. Whenever you have a triangle and you find the altitude, the altitude is equal to the square root of a times b. Okay or the height, the altitude, whatever you want to call it. So for this, that one's pretty easy for me to remember. So now I can just simplify this. So x equals 2 square root of 15. Right? Would everybody agree with that? Yes? No? Yeah. OK. So let's go and fill in that value. x equals 2 square root of 15, 2 square root of 15. All right? But now we need to figure out what y and z are. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to set up some ratios. So let's go and look at these two ratios. They both, we need to figure out what y is. So I can say 15 is to y, right? Would you guys agree those are corresponding sides? So I'll write 15 is to y. 15 is to y. Wait, no, sorry. 15 is to that y, as y is to 19. Would you guys agree? This is the hypotenuse, that's the hypotenuse, yes? So as y is to 19. Notice how this is the geometric mean. My means are exactly the same. So it's y equals the square root of 15 times 19. Um, now we try to see, can we simplify those at all? 15 to 19? Three. Yeah, but 3 is not a square number, though. So you can't take, you can't take yeah, you can't take the square root of 3 and have it, have it be an integer. Um, so what I'll need to do is I'm just going to multiply 15 times 19. And I'm pretty sure the square root of 285 is not a number. So we have y equals the square root of 285. Now, I'm not going to check all my square numbers to simplify that, just to kind of keep this video a little short before lunch. But you guys can determine that. Um, well, I just multiply those. We can't simplify. There's no other square numbers that divides into that. Or like the first part 
Yep, and you just leave it as that. Now I can go through all the squared numbers, um, but I do not believe um, any of the square any square number four, sixteen, not um, nine are going to divide into two eighty five. All right, so I believe that's going to be just as in. So now we need to figure out what uh, z is, right? So let's go and compare this triangle to that triangle. Z is the hypotenuse for this triangle. Z is the hypotenuse for that triangle. Correct? Mm -hmm. So I can say z is to 19 as 4 is the short leg, right? Yes? Mm -hmm. As, what's the short leg of this triangle? Z. As 4 is to z. Again, do you guys notice how we have them being exactly the same? All right, so therefore, z equals the square root of 4 times 19. We can now simplify that to the 2 times the square root of 19. So therefore, my final solution is x equals 2 times the square root of 15, y equals uh, square root of 285, and z equals 2 times the square root of 19. OK, any questions? The best thing I would remember, guys, this one's pretty easy to remember, the altitude. You guys might forget how to find the legs. So what I just recommend is just draw the three triangles and set up your ratios. Just remember, when you're setting up your ratios, you're going to have, you're going to be finding the geometric mean. So your ratio should have the same means um, on their cross product. OK, so that's all you have to do for uh, 